There's no breakthroughs needed. There's no leap of faith. The clean disruption of energy and transportation will happen. It's inevitable. By 2030, essentially all energy is going to be solar. More money, more investment, more R&D is going into the improvement of batteries, which, if anything, will make the clean disruption happen even faster. Solar will have improved by 2020 its unit costs relative to natural gas by more than 6,700 times relative to nuclear by 4,500 times. There is no way that, uh, that any of these other sources of energy can compete with solar, not in the short term, not in the long term. We are starting to see a series of leaders in very large companies, much more powerful than ours, than mine, that really believe this, not only because they want to position their company in a particular place, but that this is what they want their personal legacy to be, is a commitment to sustainability. I was really trying to motivate the 10,500 people that work at Energy is that, yeah, you know, we're trying to make money, all that, but we're, we're basically trying to, you know, save the world. I mean, what does Energy stand for? Yeah, we want to save the world. Who wants to come to work and save the world? That's the thing. I mean, if you ask me the electricity industry in the context of climate change, I would say in, sh in you know, elevator speech, we are currently the biggest part of the problem, but we are an even bigger part of the solution. Because if electricity can make itself zero carbon, then we can turn and solve the transportation industry, and we can solve the industry industry. And then all we need is someone doing agriculture and deforestation, and we're done. Uh, and uh, and uh, simple as that. For decades, solar power was so expensive and unwieldy, few could afford it. And that is changing in a mind-bendingly rapid pace. Over the past several years, the cost of solar energy has dramatically decreased. I mean, dramatically, making it more accessible to more people. Early this week, it got another shot in the arm for the Obama administration after it announced a new initiative to make solar energy more affordable to low- and middle-income Americans. White House hopeful Senator Bernie Sanders then introduced legislation with a similar goal. Solar energy is having a moment right now. And the future we have long been promised is now, finally, upon us. We have this this handy fusion reactor in the sky called the sun, okay? <laughs> you don't have to do anything. It just works. <laughs> Shows up every day and produces ridiculous amounts of power. But today, solar is making a comeback. Big time. Solar power capacity in the U.S. has jumped 20-fold since 2008. The fastest growing source of electricity in America is the sun. The biggest trend in solar right now is, is, is solar has become affordable. Solar City CEO Lyndon Rive is confident the company can enlist a million customers by 2018. The demand's always been there. It's just the industry uh, has to build out the infrastructure to deliver that demand. That kind of rapid growth is thanks mainly to cost. Solar is now cheap. China has helped drive down solar manufacturing costs by investing a lot of money in solar panel production. But solar is also booming because companies like Solar City have figured out a way to give Americans what they crave, zero money down. We switched to Solar City. No upfront costs, lowered our monthly bill. Now we have the infinite power of the sun working for us 24 seven. 